about it. Max power. That's where you get max power, isn't it? Because that was one of the questions I asked you to figure out about this. Well, notice that we discussed, hey, there's center frequency, there's below, there's above. Now, max power. Max power. Look here, PX net. How much power is there? What's the difference? It's zero. They cancel out, don't they? So PX net, V net, X net, look, they're all zero, aren't they, yes. for the reactive components. There's your proof right there, max power resonant frequency, because that's why I have to calculate it, because it basically is one meg at those values. Look at the apparent power and the resistive power, true power, look at it. They're basically the same, aren't they? Sure, sure. Yeah, because if you take zero, square it, plus, that value squared to square, you get the same thing back, don't you? So basically, the angle is also zero degrees. So this is purely resistive. That's where you achieve max power. This 300 milliamps, and basically this, you multiply them together, this is where you get max power in a circuit. Basically, three volts peak to peak. Because look, here you got 44 millivolts peak, 55. There's your max power at center frequency. And then, of course, this is frequency above resonance, if you calculated this correctly, those are the answers. There's something else about this. Series circuit, what are we thinking about? What are we thinking about in series? Voltages and what? Voltages and what? Okay. Frequency below resonance. Which one's bigger, XC or XL? Okay. Which one's bigger, VL or VC? Here it is. 
Look, well, actually, let me do that. Okay. <coughs> so, in a series circuit, or a circuit at frequencies below resonance, a circuit's more what? Capacitive. Capacitive. We've been talking about that for the last couple of days, and I told you the answer's always the same. No matter what you ask, you don't even need to crunch numbers. If you know it, you're good. If you think you need to crunch numbers, prove it. Well, there's the proof. What about resonant frequency or frequency above resonance? That this represents. This is above the center frequency. Which one's bigger, XL or XC? XL's bigger. Well, that means VL better be bigger too. 9.8 versus 6.8. Which one's bigger? VL. Hey, at frequencies above resonance, the circuit's more what? Inductive. There's the proof. Can you remember that? If you're just asking general, because the answer is always the same. A circuit is, it is capacitive below resonance. It is. Always. It's always the same answer. Inductive above. And you can use X sub C and X sub L formula to do the same thing, can't you? Yes, Look, here's X sub C over here. Can you say something like at lower frequencies? X sub C is what? Higher. More reactive. X sub L at lower frequencies. It's a multiplication problem. X sub L is less, less reactive. So you can do that too. And you just did practice. And you saw it on the display of the scope meter, didn't you? Yes, sir. You just saw it. You saw center frequency. You saw that they canceled each other out. And I also asked you the question then, if frequency is below resonance. Well, it was the same answer, wasn't it? Yes, it's still sir. capacitive. Above, it's still inductive. So I've been saying it a whole bunch now. It must mean it's important to remember. 